Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. The subject here is lens corrections within Adobe Camera Raw. It's made up of two parts. One part is called Enable Profile Corrections, the other is Chromatic Aberration. Out of the two, I think it's Chromatic Aberration that's probably the most damaging to our photographs. So the question is, what is chromatic aberration and why is it a problem to us photographers? Well, it manifests itself as a colour fringing that we can see around the edges of some details in our images. Quite often, we may see it where dark pixels are adjacent to light pixels. Now this colour fringing occurs quite a bit with most of the lenses that we use and the problem is, is when we need to add more colour to our images, and this is something we need to do quite often, we just make a bad situation worse. Let me show you what chromatic aberration is, but more importantly, how to get rid of it. Here, as you can see, I've got a straightforward picture of the wartime bomber, the B-17. Now, when we're viewing this on a large flat screen monitor, even at the size we're viewing it, which could be quite large. We don't see any evidence of chromatic aberration, but it's there. What I'd like to do is to zoom in maybe to that antenna right at the top there, because that's going to show the problem we need to deal with. Now, once I've zoomed in to that area, and I have got the image fairly large at 400%, but then we can clearly see the chromatic aberration we can see a strong cyan fringing around the top edges and a magenta fringing around the bottom edges. And of course, if we needed to inject a fair bit of colour into this picture, then of course we're just going to make things infinitely worse. So you can see the problem. Now I'm going to double click the vibrance and the saturation here to reset them because what we should be doing in an early part of the manipulation process we need to go to our lens corrections and we'll find them up here this is the one just click you'll find there's two parts to this lens correction we've got remove chromatic aberration and also enable profile corrections at the moment i'm just concerned with this here i'm going to place a tick in the box but if i could get you to look somewhere around this area so you can see the chromatic aberration and just how effective this tool is. It's almost all gone. There's just a tiny little bit left maybe along the edge and we can see a little bit of magenta perhaps. Well maybe we could go to the manual tab. There's a magenta slider. I'm going to take that down look at the chromatic aberration. It's gone completely. Now let's go back to that basic tab and increase the vibrance. Now we don't have any problems at all. It really is that simple to fix but as you can see or saw it can be quite damaging to the picture. Here as you can see I've got a completely different image opened up on screen once again, we can't see any evidence of chromatic aberration, or can we? If we look very carefully along the edge of this lady taking a picture, maybe we can, but we certainly can once we zoom in. There's the colour fringing all the way around. Now last time we was calling it magenta and cyan, it's almost green and purple here. But if we go to the Lens Corrections and the Profile tab and we tick the box to remove Chromatic Aberration, there we have it. Most of the time, ticking that box is going to be all you need to do. Now let me show you just one more example. This image is much better lit than the others, but when we zoom in to the two lads walking up the hill there, as we start to bring them up, bigger on screen we start to see a hint of magenta maybe cyan down the back of the leg 
if we come up a bit more it becomes much easier to see and while looking at that if I take you to the lens corrections once again and tick the box you can see it's entirely eradicated now when we see how effective that removal of chromatic aberration is it may be worth reminding ourselves that whenever we go through a manipulation of a raw image it's very rare for us to be able to move one slider and change the image significantly what we tend to do is to have to make five or ten small changes but of course we know what happens when we add up ten small changes the change from start to finish become significant so here we have one of those steps but I think quite an important one now with a completely different image open in Adobe Camera Raw I'd like to turn my attention to enable profile corrections now I think we could argue that this is not quite as vital as chromatic aberration we do find the settings we need in Adobe Camera Raw under the heading of lens corrections and we've looked at those in relation to chromatic aberration all lenses have a known amount of distortion within them what Adobe Camera Raw does is recognize the lens that we're using and it applies a correction for the known distortion of that lens now sometimes when we use wide angle lenses this lens distortion is enough to make a horizon slightly curved now if I can draw your attention to the horizon in this picture and of course you're not going to see the horizon in every shot but in a seascape like this of course you will although the horizon has got a slight tilt to it and that's a different thing which we've already looked at it's also got a bit of a curve and if you look at it carefully you'll see that it tilts down on the left and on the right hand side there is a definite curve that is caused by the lens distortion so let's look at this picture first of all though we have been looking at chromatic aberration let me just zoom into that tree see what I mean so let's go to those options and what I tend to do is the first stop in any manipulation is to remove chromatic aberration and there you can see that was pretty effective but I'm going to zoom out before I tick the other box because I think you'll see the effect of it much better keep your eye on the picture as I tick the box there you can see the popping of the image as I call it if you look down below my cursor you can see that Adobe Camera Raw has identified the lens being used a Canon EF 16 to 35 mil and it's given us a profile to combat the known distortions within that lens let me turn it on and off a couple of times and there now I think you can see that curved horizon much better especially when you see it straightened up with that pop you can see it also lightens the edge of the image a little bit just a touch but that's nothing we can't cope with when we start to do the rest of the manipulations now I've found in practical use being a Canon user that every time I tick the box to enable profile corrections I'm more than happy with the result that Camera Raw gives me but it always seems to select the right lens and apply the right profile but if I go back far enough in time I can pick up a couple of wide angle lenses I had some years ago and Photoshop doesn't have them in its database if that's the case we can still actually correct the lens profile manually with these sliders here if I pick up the distortion for example and move it to the left you can see I've almost undone what the tick above did for me and if I go the other way you can see a reverse of that so we can always put an image right don't forget we can always reset these sliders by double clicking and we also have a vignette so if we like the edges of our picture slightly dark which is not a bad thing and when we tick the box above which I think you noticed when I do that it makes the edges a little lighter well I could even compensate for that too 
we have all the tools here that we need and there's another step in those 10 steps from an image to something with wow value. The aim of my videos is to lower the learning curve that is Photoshop. I try to do that by making sure that the techniques are not only relevant to your needs but they're also practical. It's no good if we have to spend 45 minutes to achieve a fix in our photo. We don't mind spending time on our images of course but those day-to-day -day techniques we need all of the time they need to be practical and quick to put in place.